Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with a video. And this is the poll on Anthony Davis' trade to the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, most people feel as though that the Pelicans pretty much got everything out of this deal. They got players, they got Lonzo Ball, they got Ingram, and they got three first-round picks. All right? Three first-round picks. This is absolutely... Um, atrocious in my eyes that's just my opinion but let's go see what everyone else thinks um look man there's a lot of lakers fan that some lakers fan like it other fans lakers fan don't but let me go i'm show you guys the comments and this one is nate low i, I obviously is a atlanta hawks fan Pelicans should have traded with us uh they wanted three first round picks ad only one year for now six starters for one yeah man that's a lot to give up um, Lakers, look, I know they got Kyle Kuzma, LeBron James, and right now, Anthony Davis, but look, man, there's a lot of players, and if one of those guys get hurt, if Anthony Davis gets hurt, if LeBron James is not, uh, if he's on the downside of his career, he can't stay healthy, this is a horrible trade for the Lakers, that's just my opinion, but, you know, uh, Tavares Griffin, um, they have absolutely no bench. LeBron James, Anthony Davis can't play. <laughs> Look, man, I know this is this is just the beginning of you know the off season, but yes, I'm a huge component for chemistry. And right now they don't have chemistry. They don't have chemistry. They had issues with chemistry when LeBron James was the guy. All right, and get injured and. Everything went down. So when you look at it, man, this had the potential to be an absolute nightmare for the Lakers if somehow LeBron James and Anthony Davis don't uh, stay healthy. Um, Red XL Durton, if somehow he's a, a Lakers fan, somehow we get Kyrie Irving and Kawhi, <laughs> LeBron James and AD. Uh, look, man, this is what I absolutely despise about the NBA. Like, guys don't want to compete anymore no one wants to compete it's the easiest road to success easiest road to championships and if this were to happen i doubt it all right Kawhi wants to pass this create his own path he's his own man so i doubt it happened but if it does man i guarantee you your boy man mike will not be watching nba for the next three to four years all right outside the atlanta hawks I'm not watching it. No reason to watch it. Because guys don't want to compete anymore. That's just my take on it. Alright, this is ZSPN. Um, you can go check out his channel, man. Uh, I'm actually subscribed to the channel, so uh, check it out. Um, the link will be in the description. But personally, I believe the Lakers made a smart move by trading for AD. And not only traded for a superstar to team up with LeBron James, but they also kept one of young core guys and Kyle Kuzma who's an all-star in the making and now the Lakers are looking uh, for an appealing free agent uh, guys like Jimmy Butler Kimba Walker, Kyrie Irving Kawhi Leonard um, look man, I, I like what you're saying I appreciate the comment but look man, like I said before chemistry is everything in basketball chemistry is everything in sports have to learn how to play with these guys. These guys don't win championship this year. Guess what? It's a failure. A complete failure. You can't assume that these guys are going to mesh well. Especially with a guy like... If you bring in a guy like Jimmy Butler. You bring in a guy like Kawhi Leonard. Look, man. Those guys are different types of animals. Different types of just personalities. The dude just walked away from one of the best coaches in the league. In the history of the league. Kawhi Leonard, he walked away from Greg Popovich from a chance to be a champion, all right? A consistent champion. This is what he did. So, look, man, chemistry, guys' personalities. Look, man, it's not a foregone conclusion that Anthony Davis is going to like LeBron James. Why? It's because he's a big man. He's going to be reliant on LeBron James to get him the ball. Big men hate that. 
and yes, he can he can run the floor. Yes, he can dribble, but he's still going to be relying on a extremely ball dominant dominant player in LeBron James. That's a major major key. So when you look at it, man, this is not a foregone conclusion. This will be a success. And Benny Tao, uh, the Lakers fan here, I agree with you. This is a stupid trade. This has the potential to be more disastrous than 2013. Start rebuilding in two years. Also, AD, it's not really that good. Just not a number two option and nothing more, man. That's that's the thing. We have no idea if this guy is going to turn out to be a, a secondary player like Chris Bosh with LeBron James were in in Miami. We don't know. We don't know how these guys are going to mesh. We have no idea how Anthony Davis is going to play. He could very well be a secondary player and pretty much be exactly what Chris Bosh was to LeBron James, what Kevin Love was to LeBron James, and that's a spot-up shooter. When you play with LeBron James... You have to be, you become a spot up shooter because he's a ball dominant player. And I'm not sure if guys want to be a spot up shooter. I'm not sure if Anthony Davis is cool with being a spot up shooter. All right? So when you look at it, man, I agree, Benny. This, is, this has the potential, potential to be disastrous. And these guys can win one, they could possibly win two championships, just depending on how. Quickly, Golden State, Kevin Durant, and Klay Thompson come back. This could, they had the potential to win championships, but this has also had the potential to be absolutely disastrous. So, Laker fans, look, man, I, I hope it works. I hope it works out for you guys because if it doesn't, man, 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 your fan base is going to be, cr- man, y'all going to be crazy, man. But my boy Dante, uh, the midget man, uh, Dante Armstrong, I actually liked your trade for the Lakers. It had trade for Kuz, uh, Kuzma. I would have agreed with you. But now that they add another all-star player and still have money to build some depth, look, man, you're still talking about what if. What if they sign this guy? What if they sign him? But what if they don't? What if the Lakers don't? get a Kimba Walker? What if they don't get Kawhi? What if they don't get Kyrie? What if they don't get players? What will happen? What if they don't get a guy like Jimmy Butler? It's a bunch of what ifs. And right now they have LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And like I said before, we don't know if Anthony Davis is going to be okay with just being a second option. Because he's always been the number one option in New Orleans. This is a huge what ifs. This is a huge what if. But let me know what you guys think about this, man. Continue to leave your comments. And I will, all right? I promise you guys, I will make videos, highlight you guys' comments. I appreciate the support. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends to come chat with your boy. I'm gone, man. Peace.